Hi friends, this is Sheshanan from Aerotech Solutions. This application is password protection system using Arduino Inno. Here I am connecting one display unit which is 16 cross to LCD and the other device which is 4x3 keypad. And these are all connected with the controller unit which is Arduino Inno. So coming to the hardware connections, so LCD requires RS enable pins anyway first and two pins are ground and VCC which are interconnected with the backlight connections and to adjust the contrast I am using one port here so port also requires third pin is a variator and the other two pins are connected to VCC and ground so even if you don't want this contrast adjustment you can directly give it to ground so this is your uh, two hard control pin connections as well VCC and ground. Now coming to this data lines D4, D5, D6, D7 data lines connected with the pins 13 and so here they are representing as A0, A1, A2 or else you can access with the pin numbers 14, 15, 16. The 13 end here and you can begin your counting 14, 15, 16 from here and keypad connections so here you need to use 7 IOs from, for keypad 4 rows and 3 columns so the identification for rows you can follow these 4 lines one side and other 3 lines they have columns so this is easy notice your row starts from first one row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and column 1, column 2, column 3 this is the sequence and this keypad is connected across 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so these 7 IOs I am using from Arduino to interface the 4x3 keypad so these are hardware connections so now I will brief you the source code of this application So here there are two headers I declared keypad and LCD and the connections with uh, LCD RS with 11 enable with 12 and data lines 13 14 15 16 and then the number of rows I am defining here four rows and three columns the specific key values with a two dimensional array so this is from library which is already available and the row pins are connected across 4, 5, 6, 7 and column pins connected across 6, 9, 10 sorry 8, 9, 10 and this keypad is a standard function it, it is going to return your key value from this keypad library so this setup these are initial setup you need to do the serial communication I will begin with standard baud rate 9600 and LCD I'm going to begin with 16 comma 2 which is which means I'm working with 16 cross to LCD the initial text I'm expecting with the first line password protected and sending it to the cursor to second line by passing this LCD set cursor 0 1 the second line message is system so I'm waiting here on 5 seconds delay and after that I'm going to clear the screen now this loop function which will run continuously so after entering into this main of this program so I am going to clear my screen as well and enter password so this is the initial text I will get it on first line and sending to the cursor to second line by using this LCD set cursor and this I am using do while loop to read 4 key values from the key 6 key values from the keypad by using do while concept each key value I am trying to save it into this password temporary array so each time I am trying to increment my i value so that index will increment to next value the first key value which is saved in password of 0 next key value is saved in password of 1 and next key value it for is saved in password of 2 it follows the sequence so this loop which will run 6 times because I just end up my while loop with 6 this is do while 
so that your loop will be terminated after reading six characters from the keypad. So once you are receiving six characters, I need to compare those six keys. What are the six keys from the keypad? So I took if condition here. So this I'm making I zero for next next time checking my password. So these six values I'm trying to compare with my existence password. Now my password is nine six seven six three two is my password. So I'm comparing with the index password of zero is nine and password of one is six and password of 2 is 7 and password of 3 is 6 and password of 4 3 password of 5 2 so if all conditions are matching which means these i just took and operator between all the numbers if all all the key values are matching with this condition then it will enter into this if condition so once all six six characters are matched with this existence condition so I'm trying to clear my screen and giving the text message access is authorized and waiting for delay and go to first. So this go to keyword I'm using to go back to main. Suppose if if the keys are not matching with this existence numbers. So simply in else part I'm giving the message access design access deny by giving this clear screen and waiting four seconds and go to first. So this this is your logical logic for this application now i'm going to turn on the hardware i can show you the same expected response so you can watch the initial text on screen which is password protection system and which is asking enter password so i'll reset again you can watch the initial text on screen which is password protection system it will wait for five five seconds as per our logic now it is asking enter password so now i'm going to give first i'll check with right password you can you can watch the message on screen so i'm giving my exact password the nine is the first key and six seven six three two so after reading six characters we will get the proper message on screen which is access authorized again it is asking enter password so suppose now i'm trying with some wrong password randomly i'm giving all ones the six numbers are wrong i'm giving now you can get the text message access denied so this is how your application works. Thanks for watching.